much better than it was in the 1950s when the Natural History Museum declared the river to be biologically dead. Nothing, not even microscopic life, can live in the water. But there's been a huge transformation since then. It's a fantastic asset. It's something that people enjoy visiting and being by, apart from the litter issue. So, right, hello, good morning, everyone. As they go past, as soon as they've gone. Thames 21 is the environmental charity for London's waterways, and uh, we get thousands of volunteers out and about every year clearing litter from uh, the River Thames and the tributaries and the canal network. Well, we've got a bunch of volunteers here on the Thames foreshore and uh, everybody's removing the litter, plastic bags, traffic cones, other junk that's just been thrown into the river and that it's nobody's job to actually remove. So we get local community volunteers, company staff, everyone down here onto the Thames foreshore to gather it all up and take it away. A lot of plastic in all varying shapes, sizes and descriptions. The curtain pole. Someone found some bullets, which is a bit disturbing. I was hoping for uh some nice uh, medieval silver or something like that, but uh, nothing so far. If you could have seen this foreshore not just five years ago, you'd have just seen a carpet of plastic bags. It's just, it's just another bag. <laughs> Although it keeps coming. Oh, oh, it's a dress! It's a dress! <laughs> Getting out of the office, out into the fresh air, um, seeing a whole different uh, view on London from the Thames foreshore and it's working with people in a different way. We're here because we um, want to help collect this rubbish to make do a little bit really. To, um... I'm here because I need some bricks for my new extension. Yes. Uh, well this is very different from what I'd normally do. I'd normally be sitting at a desk or sitting in a meeting talking about funding or regulation or um, BBC policy and uh, this is um, very hands-on. It's definitely made me think I'm never going to chuck away a plastic bag again. <laughs> it's fantastic actually, I'm quite enjoying it. It's quite hard work, it's a bit harder work than my allotment. Today's been really, really interesting experience. It's actually been a lot of fun. I was a bit slightly dreading it this morning, having volunteered a while ago um, with all good intentions. And this morning, when I thought it might rain, I was a bit like, oh God. But actually, um, it's, it's a really nice day and it's been really fun. And it's just been a real good opportunity to um, chat to people out of work, um, meet some colleagues who I work with but not on a regular basis. And when people come off the foreshore at the end of the day, they're already talking about what they're going to do next time. Well, next time we'll tackle that bit there or whatever. Um, so it's, it's something that people really enjoy and get involved in. I'd not try and give up the day job for it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say come along, get involved, look on the Thames 21 website, www.thames21.org.uk and there you'll find a calendar of events which will tell everybody what's coming up in their local area and people can just come along, uh, just wear old clothes, we provide all the other kit, just come along, get involved, meet other people and, and have fun and do, do a, a useful and worthwhile job for the community.